Welcome to the Magic of Math, where today we're going to solve a real-world problem using an exponential equation where we understand that we have an initial value with a growth factor and amount of time that something is going to grow. Here we go. We're told that an executive at a company expects sales of a new product to increase by 20% per year. Sales of the product were $110,000 at the end of the first year. What are the expected sales of the product at the end of the third year? So here's where I would like you to pause the video, do your best work, choose one of these four answer choices, and then come back to see my explanation. Good luck. Welcome back. So before we begin, we want to first recognize that when we have growth that's growing exponentially, meaning it starts with an initial factor, which is going to be our A, right? So we're solving for something after a period of time of growth. So we wanna first identify our initial value. What did it start at? So that is gonna be our factor A, that variable. So we go back to our problem and we can see that in the first year, that's our initial value. There was no sales prior to the first year. So we're gonna put 110,000 in for A. So here we go. Now we're gonna multiply this by a power. The base of the power, B, is the growth factor. It's how much does it grow each year. So we can see that we're told that sales are expected to grow by 20% per year. That means we're going to have 100% of the first year's growth plus an additional 20%. So that's 120% because it's 20% plus the 110,000. So our growth factor needs to be greater than 100%. And we're gonna write that as a decimal. 120% written as a decimal for the base of our power is gonna be 1.20. 120% written as a decimal. Now we need to identify our exponent, which is our amount of time this is going to grow. We have an initial value that is gonna grow exponentially at a percentage rate over a period of time. That time is, we're told, at the end of the third year. So after year one, we're gonna have two additional years of growth, year two and year three. So don't be confused here. This is where we could get tricked in an exponential equation. If year one, we have to wait till year one is done to have our initial value, we're now growing to get to the third year, two additional years. So our exponent here is two, not three. All right, so now to evaluate this expression, to solve for y, we're gonna do our power first. So in your calculator, 1.2 squared multiply by 110,000. So 1.2 squared, you might on your calculator have to hit equals, multiply by 110,000 equals, and you should get the, the product 158,400, which is answer choice B. So the expected sales at the end of the third year would be $158,400. And that is how you use an exponential equation to determine an initial value, a growth factor, and the amount of time of growth to solve a real world problem. Thanks for joining me today at The Magic of Math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. I hope you'll subscribe and come back soon.